One of the things that we're being bombarded by in this national election cycle is the polls. Which way are the polls leading? Are the polls reliable? Are the polls even real? And that probably leads you to think of the question, how are polls even taken for a national election? One of the leading polls right now in the U.S. election cycle is 538.com, which is led by Nate Silver, probably one of the most famous statisticians in the modern day era. And currently, 538.com has Joe Biden up by 10.7 percentage points, which is a pretty significant lead if you look back at modern elections. Unfortunately, the other side has had a hard time accepting this. There's tons of tweets, tons of social media, pictures, and everything else out there saying about how the polls are fake. Phony election polls, are they real? Are they reliable? We don't really even know. One of my favorite terrible statistics experiments, quote unquote, it's actually not an experiment. It's an observational study, but that's another statistical concept that we will um, talk about in AP Stats at Fiveable. But this particular individual said you should go to Joe Biden's Facebook page and count up how many likes from your friend group he has and then go to Donald Trump's Facebook page and see how many likes he has. And his results, almost over 10 times as many friends like Donald Trump's page as do Joe Biden's page. OK, which is a pretty large lead. And you can even see in the comments, I mean, 663 to 4, 209 to 7, 45 to 0, just um, an astounding numbers in favor of Donald Trump. Now, the problem with this is that this violates a very important statistics concept known as scope of inference. What scope of inference is, is if you want to draw a conclusion about a population, so a big population, what you need to do is you need to take a sample that is representative of that population. And that sample, of course, is going to be much smaller. And then you can make generalizations about a much bigger population. So if I am taking a sample of Josh's Facebook friends to see who likes Donald Trump and who likes Joe Biden's Facebook page, well, I can't take those results and generalize it to the U.S. population. In fact, I might could just take that and generalize it to Josh's Facebook friends, which since Josh lives in Alabama and most of his friends from Facebook live in Alabama, probably are going to vote more Republican than Democrat, which really doesn't come as a surprise. And there's basically no national polls that are saying that Joe Biden is going to win Alabama. So really, this social experiment, as this individual has laid out, really isn't all that shocking. If you poll people or measure people from Alabama and you find they like Donald Trump more than Joe Biden, which is exactly what these national polls are, in fact, predicting. So if I really want to take a good poll or a good um, prediction on what's going to happen in the U.S. election, I need to take a randomly generated sample from the U.S. population. And then from those results, I can generalize my findings to the U.S. population. Um, this concept of scope of inference also came up earlier this summer when President Trump insisted that polling was fake. And he said, we have a silent majority of likes, which nobody has seen. Just look, there are thousands of boats in lakes, rivers, and oceans, thousands and thousands of boats. It's called Boaters for Trump. So basically, Donald Trump said, I'm more popular than Joe Biden because I have all of these voter rallies, which, again, doesn't really tell us much at all. Most of these voter rallies took place in predominantly red states. So sure, Donald Trump is going to win those states. But that doesn't mean that the national average is really going to reflect that. Again, he looked at a very small, specific, specialized portion of the U.S. population and tried to take that small little sample and broaden the horizons to a population that it didn't match for. So if this idea kind of fascinates you and you want to learn more about valuable statistics concepts, join me next semester at fiveable.me and you can take the course of AP Statistics where we're going to talk about tons of things like this that play into world affairs that play into all sorts of fields that you see all the time, especially on social media. People really like to violate common statistics concepts on social media. But in the meantime, you can follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and you can see a lot of other awesome things that we're all coming up with in regards to the U.S. election and how it relates to all of the AP fields.